she quickly discovered that she hated the ocean. But fucking loved virgin pina coladas. Up until that moment, Kat had a relatively good life. I mean, life wasn't amazing, but it's not like she fantasized about killing herself. It was good enough. She was popular enough, smart enough. The only thing that was like actually amazing was Daniel. Daniel was like a dream, like gorgeous, like really nice, like the kind of boy that would text her every night before bed and say, and the kind of boy that would meet her outside of school every morning just to make sure he could hold her hand as they walked down the hall. She could never figure out why Daniel chose her, what Daniel actually liked or loved about her. She just knew it felt really good. Whatever, it didn't matter. It's better not to jinx these things. Can I have another one? Sure. During her eight day stay on that stupid island, Kat drank 72 virgin pina coladas. She was in heaven. And then she got home. Oh my God, what happened? When Kat had left for Jamaica, she was 107 pounds. When she returned, she weighed in at a whopping Get up. Despite being 5'2", which was tall for her age, her body was not prepared to house the extra 20 pounds. It was noticeable. <laughs> Kat did her best to minimize the fallout. No. At least Daniel didn't make a big deal out of it. That's why she liked him. He didn't care about what people thought. He liked her for whatever reasons he liked her, and 20 stupid pounds would never change that. Until fourth period. Sutherland's. Whatever. Fuck her. Fuck him. She didn't actually love Daniel. She was 11. And when you're 11, you fall in love with, like, everyone and everything. It's not real love. Real love is when you can't exist without someone, when you'd rather die than be apart. 